Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. LaTanya Woodson Mayfield, and today we're visiting with LaTanya Knight, campus secretary at the Crowley Learning Center and a breast cancer survivor. We're so thankful she's here to share her story with us. Welcome, LaTanya. Thank you. Nice to see you again. Um, if you could share a little bit about how your breast cancer survivor story began. Good Friday, April the 15th, 2022, changed my life forever. Moved up my annual appointment um, by a month, do my annual mammogram, then we're going to IHOP to get pancakes because that's what me and my husband did after every mammogram. It was just around the corner, knock on the door, hang on Miss Knight, don't get dressed. So we look at each other, well that's strange. Okay, well we'll wait a couple of seconds, so we're talking about, you know, what kind of pancakes we're gonna get and what kind of toppings. One doctor came in, then another doctor came in, the nurse came in, She's like, Miss Knight, if you'll just hang on for a little bit longer, we want to take a look at your last year's uh, uh, mammogram results. So by this time, it's usually a 30, 45 minute appointment. Hour had passed. Well, we want to, do you have time today? We want to do a biopsy. Biopsy? I was like, so is this a new procedure? She's like, no, we, we're just seeing something that we don't like because I'm looking at last year. I'm looking at this year. Your name is, said my name, your date of birth is, yes. And she was like, okay, do, it, it won't take long. Went in and three and a half hours later, we're there. And she was like, we don't like what we see. Because we don't like what we see, we want you to see someone else, so hang on. This doctor is on their way to come. So then I saw another doctor. So by this time, pancakes are out the door. So waited, and she was like, yeah, we're gonna have to have that looked at. So when I did a scan, and I, my husband was like, well, we're gonna get another opinion. We wanted to have another one. Second result did the same thing. So they sent us to get more scans, more tests. After all of those were done, June the 6th, they inserted a port because it was determined that this aggressive cancer that you have, we've got to be more aggressive. So we're gonna blast it with the chemo and all the chemo don't kill, we're gonna scrape. All the chemo don't kill and we don't scrape, radiation is gonna get it and you're gonna to have to have 26 rounds of radiation. That was my journey. And it started hard and it started fast. In less than 12 months, I went from zero clear to a mass six centimeters. My doctors were, Miss Knight, this is a very aggressive cancer. You went from clear to grade three. It's aggressive. That means we, as your medical team, is gonna have to be more aggressive than the cancer. Your husband was there mm -hmm, with you. Mm -hmm. um, and hearing this, you know, with the doctor's reactions, mm -hmm. how did he, react to to that my husband is a military man so he sat there because he knew that I was internalizing all of that and he knew he was going to have to be my strength and that's exactly what he was he was there every single appointment from the x-rays to the follow-ups to the chemo radiation every single appointment. He's like, when you come out that door, I'm gonna be sitting right here. The chemo nurses would tell him, Mr. Knight is gonna be three to four hours. You can go get you some lunch and come right back. He's like, no ma'am, when she walked through that door, I'm gonna be sitting right here. And every Friday, 
I had to face chemo from June 2022 to September 2022. Chemo every single Friday, three to four hours. And I would get messages sometimes from my angels, who I like to call them. And uh, Christine, first appointment, she was like, Miss Knight, stop looking around that room because their story doesn't have to be your story. Mm -hmm. You got this. I'm praying for you. You can do this. Let me know when you're finished. And just those text messages would just alter the, the set of my mind because it, it, it just changed the atmosphere that I'm not going to have this inward pity party. I've got people fighting for me. I need to fight for myself. Were there times when you, it, you didn't have the strength or you didn't find it? So many times, so many times, even now. It, it's sometimes a mental battle. From a perspective of faith, I was like, God, how could you? I'm supposed to be on the other side, encouraging people, being their cheer cheerleader. And this happened to me? You're God. And you allowed it to happen to me? What, where, where is, where's the love? Where's the support? Where is the, you know, the God of the impossible? That's just who he showed me he was. I never experienced the side of God that I experienced through this journey. And sometimes, Dr. Mayfield, I didn't have it to fight. That's when I would get a text message mm -hmm. from my angels. Miss Knight, I'm thinking about you. I'm praying for you. Miss Jessica at the front desk would send me prayers. It's like, you know, th they're fighting. And whereas I can't, God, I want to pull on their strength. I want to pull on the strength from the people that you surrounded me with. My CLC family, man, they came in like a flood. I didn't want people to see me as weak or that my faith was invalid or that God wasn't real. I wanted to show them the exact opposite, that yeah, this is happening, but the strength that he provides through himself, through the people that he surrounds you with, girl, you were created to do hard things. This is a hard thing, and somebody is going to need what you're going through to help them get through. Absolutely, absolutely. The cancer came in fast, hot, and heavy, and the doctors came back with even more strength than what it was, and it doesn't exist today. Wow. In Crowley ISD, we're a family, and we take care of each other. That's why we're sharing stories like Latonya's. And it's why we hope you'll visit our website to find more information and resources about breast cancer. You'll also find a place there to honor those who have been impacted by this disease. Together, let's continue to fight and continue to hope.